Hey everyone, welcome to Stone to Star, your gateway to the untold stories of ancient Philippines. We're diving deep into the hidden empire beneath the Philippines, the real ancient civilization. Before the world began to draw its first maps, before empires claimed the seas, there may have been another kingdom hidden beneath the islands we now call the Philippines, a realm of gold, of wisdom, of ships that sailed before history began to write its story. The whisper of a lost kingdom. Across the islands of the Philippines, ancient legends speak of lands that vanished beneath the waves. The elders of Visayas tell of a place called Maragtas, a golden realm that once ruled over the islands long before foreign sails appeared on the horizon. Some call it a myth. Others believe it was a memory of a forgotten civilization. Long before the Spanish chroniclers wrote about the archipelago, the islands already had rich cultures, organized societies, and kingdoms connected by trade. Yet, scattered across the archipelago are whispers, stories that speak of a much older past. A civilization erased by time and buried under layers of earth and sea. Archaeologists have found traces that seem to hint at something greater. Gold ornaments crafted with techniques more advanced than neighboring regions. Mysterious megalithic stones in Batanis and Mindoro. And stories of a sunken land beyond the coasts of Mindanao. Could these pieces be fragments of a lost empire? one that predates even the kingdoms of Tondo and Butuan. If this part of history blew your mind, hit like, share your reaction in the comments, and subscribe. The next secrets of pre-colonial Philippines are coming. The story begins not in the modern era, but in the mists of antiquity, where myths and history blend and the Philippines was part of a vast world forgotten by history books. Some researchers have connected these myths to the legendary Lemuria, or Mu, a supposed lost continent that once stretched across the Pacific. Ancient writers described it as a land that vanished beneath the sea after catastrophic events. If Lemuria ever existed, then the Philippine archipelago may be its surviving peaks. But is this just fantasy? Or did an advanced civilization truly thrive in these islands long before recorded history? The Clues Beneath the Islands In 1981, divers off the coast of southern Mindanao discovered formations deep beneath the ocean floor, stone patterns that appeared to be man-made. Similar reports have come from Palawan, Bohol, and the Surigao Sea. Many dismiss these as natural rock formations, yet the shapes are too deliberate, too precise. Parallel walls, right angles, and terrace-like structures. If these are remnants of an ancient city, then who built them, and when? The Philippine archipelago sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, one of the most tectonically active regions on Earth. Earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions have shaped the islands for millennia. Scientists believe entire land masses could have risen and sunk multiple times across tens of thousands of years. This natural volatility could explain why any ancient civilization here might have vanished. Swallowed by the ocean itself, Supporting this are numerous ancient artifacts, unearthed far from their expected origins. In Butuan, archaeologists discovered massive balangay boats, dating back more than a thousand years. Yet the craftsmanship suggests a maritime tradition far older. Some pieces of gold jewellery, like the famed Golden Tara of Agusan, have stylistic influences closer to ancient India and Sri Lanka than Southeast Asia. How did such connections exist unless there was a network, a civilization that once bridged these worlds? Even older, 
are the mysterious petroglyphs found in Angono and other parts of the islands, rock carvings that depict figures and rituals unknown in later Philippine art. These could be the last echoes of an ancient belief system, one that predates recorded religion. Every clue leads deeper. The gold, the stones, the carvings, all hint that the people of the islands were far more advanced than once believed. They were not isolated tribes waiting to be discovered. They were the heirs of a civilization lost to time. The Golden Age Before Spain When Spanish chroniclers first arrived in the 1500s, they were stunned by what they found. The people of the islands wore gold, not as decoration, but as part of daily life. They traded with Chinese merchants, sailed across the seas, and had political systems that rivaled small European states. But where did this sudden sophistication come from? The Golden Tara, a 21-carat gold statue discovered in Mindanao in 1918, depicts a deity seated in deep meditation. Experts dated it to around the 9th or 10th century, long before Spanish colonization. Yet its design resembles ancient Indian art, hinting at early contact with distant civilizations. The question is, were these influences brought in from abroad, or were they remnants of a once great local culture that had already achieved similar heights? Ancient Chinese records speak of kingdoms like Butuan, Ma Yi and Tondo, flourishing centers of trade known for their gold, pearls and fine craftsmanship. These were not primitive societies. They had systems of writing, organized governance and diplomacy with neighboring empires. Some historians suggest that these were the surviving city-states of a much older empire a civilization that had once united the islands under a single cultural identity before natural cataclysm and time tore it apart. Could the hidden empire have been this ancient network, an advanced maritime kingdom that linked the islands under one golden culture? Perhaps this empire was not hidden by design, but buried by disaster. Flood myths across the Philippines tell of great waves that consumed the land, forcing survivors to flee to the mountains or other islands. Each tribe remembers fragments of the same story told differently across generations. A once great land, a sudden catastrophe, and a new beginning. These myths are not unique. In Indonesia, Malaysia and Polynesia, Similar stories echo, a great flood, a sinking land, and the scattering of people across the seas. When stories repeat across oceans, they often hold a kernel of truth. If the Philippines were once the heart of a larger landmass, then these stories may be memories passed down through thousands of years. Perhaps the ancestors of today's Filipinos are the descendants of that lost civilization carrying fragments of its greatness in their traditions, languages, and artistry. The vanishing of the empire. What could erase an entire civilization so completely that only whispers remain? Scientists studying the Pacific Basin point to a chain of cataclysms that occurred thousands of years ago. Massive eruptions, shifting tectonic plates, and tsunamis that reshaped the islands. Some geologists believe that as sea levels rose after the last ice age, vast tracts of land between the islands were swallowed by the ocean. Imagine coastal cities, temples, ports, and marketplaces slowly sinking beneath relentless waves. Generations would flee inland, carrying fragments of language, craft, and myth. The survivors became the ancestors of the later kingdoms we now know, Butuan, Tondo, and Sulu, each keeping a spark of the forgotten empire alive. In oral traditions from Bohol to Mindanao, there are tales of a blinding fire from the mountains, 
followed by great darkness and the sea rushing in. These are not isolated. Similar memories appear in Indonesia and the Pacific, suggesting that the destruction was not local, but regional. A chain reaction that erased an entire age. Over centuries, new peoples arrived, new tribes formed, and the memory of the old world blurred into legend. When the first foreign chroniclers arrived, they saw prosperous chiefdoms and trading ports, but could not imagine what had come before. The old empire had turned to dust, its gold scattered, its monuments hidden beneath coral and silt. Yet the land still remembers. Farmers uncover stones shaped too perfectly to be natural. Divers find artifacts lying in silence beneath the waves. Every discovery feels like a voice calling from the depths, reminding us that history did not begin in the 1500s. Modern echoes and new discoveries. In the past few decades, archaeologists and historians have begun to re-examine the Philippines through a new lens. They're finding evidence of trade and metallurgy stretching back thousands of years, centuries before any written record. In Butuan, excavations revealed the Balangay boats, massive wooden ships built with precision and without nails. Their planks fitted together like puzzle pieces. They prove that ancient Filipinos were master shipbuilders and sailors, capable of long-distance voyages across the open sea. These vessels, older than many of Europe's medieval ships, suggest a culture that thrived on exploration and exchange. In Taban Caves, Palawan, tools and ornaments dating back over 40,000 years have been uncovered. In Mindoro, researchers have found carved stones and burial jars, unlike any known tradition. Each clue pushes the timeline of Philippine civilization further into prehistory. Some divers off Surigao claim to have found ruins resembling stairways and terraces deep underwater. While mainstream science remains cautious, sonar imaging has shown geometric shapes that do not easily fit natural explanations. If proven artificial, they could rewrite the story of early human settlement in Southeast Asia. Meanwhile, genetic studies reveal surprising connections between island populations and peoples as far as India, Melanesia and Polynesia. Evidence of ancient migration routes that may have been part of the lost empire's network. The ocean that once divided now unites, showing the routes through which cultures, goods and stories once flowed. The legacy of the hidden empire. Perhaps the real empire was never truly lost. It lives quietly in the resilience of the Filipino people. Their artistry, their seafaring spirit, their ability to rebuild after every storm. The songs, dances and craftsmanship that persist today may be distant reflections of that ancient brilliance. To imagine a hidden civilization beneath the Philippines is not merely to chase myth. It is to recognize the depth of time that shaped these islands. Long before colonial maps drew borders, the archipelago was already connected. By trade, by belief, by shared destiny. Maybe the empire was not buried under the sea, but within memory itself, waiting for a new generation to listen. Each discovery, each legend retold, brings us a step closer to hearing its voice again. So the question remains, was there truly a hidden empire beneath the Philippines? Or is the idea itself the proof that the Filipino imagination, vast and unbroken, still reaches beyond the horizon to claim its forgotten past? Until the waves release their secrets, the answer lies between myth and history where truth shimmers like gold beneath the sea. Our ancestors' stories don't end here. Smash that like, share your thoughts in the comments, 
and subscribe to join the Stone to Star family for the next epic chapter.